Hey guys, welcome back to Daniel's Tech World here on YouTube. My name is Daniel Rosell. This is my uh, little tech corner of YouTube here. And um, I've been doing a lot of videos lately about optical media and our data archival. And uh, I'm going to still be occasionally sharing about those because it's, I mean, data backup and archival has been something I've been interested in for quite some time. It is not the most exciting subject on the planet, but equally, it really, really does matter. Um, there is something very satisfying about preserving your data digitally really, really well, uh, whether you're preserving, you know, photographs or some other personal stuff of significance. Um, for those of us into archival, I think we really get a lot of, we really get a lot out of it, a lot of satisfaction out of it. Um, I'm not really a cloud skeptic, but uh, in the sense that I use the cloud, I really like the cloud, but there is something nice knowing that you have your own copies of your data in places you can manage. Um, so the MDisk for archival is obviously stands out as a great solution. Um, it comes up regularly on a subreddit I've mentioned frequently in these videos about backup and archive called the data hoarder subreddit. Uh, like most Reddit communities, it's a little bit childishly named uh, for people who are just like grabbing petabytes of data off the internet. Um, but for people who are kind of less, more selective in what they're trying to preserve, the MDisk frequently gets suggested. And people say, you know, the MDisk is good. At some point in the last couple of years, Reddit, the data hoarder of Reddit, has become convinced, unshakably convinced to the contrary, that the MDisk is a big scam. Um, and I thought I would finally just look into it and do a video about it. The reason it's taking me this long is I never really bought into this. Um, I'm going to call it maybe a conspiracy theory uh, because for a few reasons. Firstly, I interviewed the guy who invented it called Barry and he seemed like a great guy to me. I think it's a fantastic technology. It's true that the startup that developed this went bust, but that's, that, that more said to me, not enough people care about the world, about long-term data preservation, unfortunately. Most people are fixated on cloud storage and how much data you can store and the kind of strange people like me and maybe people watching this YouTube channel, we're very much the odd one out. We're like the one in a hundred that actually really think, okay, the cloud's great, but what happens? Is that data secure over the long term? Most people does not enter their mind. Uh, most uh, normal, normal people. So for us maladjusted folk, uh, this is something, but that mightn't have been big enough to sustain a business. Anyway, uh, Reddit is convinced that uh, verbatim are selling or scamming us those of us buying the MDisk. And as I said, I never really looked into it because I just thought, I really don't think so. Verbatim's a legitimate company and uh, you know it was a good tech and they got the uh, proprietary technology from Leniata. So like, I, I, I didn't really get the conspiracy theory. But I looked into it and I put together this little uh, presentation to try to, I, I'm not speaking for Leniata, I'm only speaking for myself. This is why, and I'm going to, if I'm brave, I'll call this debunking the uh, MDisk myth. That'll really, uh, that might piss uh, some people off. If I'm less brave, I'll just call it uh, addressing th this more uh, neutral title, addressing the Reddit MDisk controversy. So let's go, because this, is, this has taken on a life of its own. And I thought what I would do is basically try to get my head around uh, why so many people on the data hoarder subreddit are convinced that the MDisk is a scam. So it seems to be that this thread kicked off the, uh, gave a lot of people the, uh, the, the, convinced a lot of people that, that this conspiracy theory, uh, or this theory, if you want to be kinder, is, uh, is accurate. The thread was called, uh, and this is on data hoarders, verbatim no longer sell real M-discs. They're just, oh, do you hear the honking guys? Unbelievable. Um, verbatim no longer sells real M-discs. They just are putting regular Blu-rays in M-disc packaging. Ooh. <laughs> uh, sounds very malicious um, and it's kind of a wall of text so it I had to like copy and paste paragraphs uh, into a little text editor to actually read this um, so that's what I did in this uh, so I put this into a google slide slide bit by bit so we can kind of understand what the claim is what what the grounds are for claiming that this is a scam so it's really based on this poster um, found the difference in the manufacturer ID, which is uh, called the MID. Um, I don't get it on when I'm burning disks on Linux, but uh, I've seen this on Windows where like the OS detects 
the manufacturer and some other little data metadata that's kind of stuck into the disc. And uh, this poster is really basing in the majority his claim that M-Discs are fake, are fake based on the fact that the MID changed. Uh, I noticed right away, I have to look over to this screen because I'm recording on this one. Uh, I noticed right away because the MID of the disc was verbatim 000, which is the code for their regular Blu-rays, instead of Milen MR1000, which is the MID that all 25 gig M-Discs have. So there's actually a very rational explanation for that. And that is this. Millenniata, uh, the original company, went bust in 2016. And they sold, they gave the, uh, sold, I presume, I, I doubt they gave it as a, as a freebie. Uh, they sold the trade secrets to the formulation of the M-Disc to Verbatim and I think also Ritec, uh based in Asia. So M-Discs up to 2016 were made by Millenniata. You might still find a few here and there on the market. But most M discs are now being made by Verbatim legitimately. They bought it. They got the paint. They, whatever trade secrets, layers, engineering, they got that. So it makes total sense that the older M discs would have a manufacturer ID from Millenniata, right? The first word is short for Millenniata, and it would make sense that at some point you began seeing your M discs actually having a verbatim manufacturer ID because the manufacturer was now verbatim. So there's nothing suspicious to me about this at all. Um, so then he has like a bunch of he or she, I don't know the gender of the poster, so I'll just, leave, I'll just say he or she. Um, she then has like kind of a dossier, he or she is a dossier of supposed uh, evidence that the M-Disc is fake. So this person says, okay, this is a real M-Disc, it's slightly gold, the fake disc is silver, we have the MID again saying no matter the brand always has Milan as the MID. Fakes have the same ID as the cheap verbatim BDRs they are. They also have a 6x write speed. Again, all these things to me seem like minor discrepancies in the manufacturing that they might have changed the, um, the formulation of the disc a little bit, like the that inorganic layer as laser technology advanced in Blu-ray writers might have been only able to uh, work with a 4x burner in uh, 2015 when Millenniata was introduced to tech and it might have been increased to 6x. To me, that's very credible. Uh, okay, the color is a little bit different. Uh, again, when the manufacturers changed and also when Verbatim was bought out, that's another factor uh, here. The text on the real M-Disc, so these are the ones I have, uh, is gray and there's a light circle and then the fake ones. Okay, again, it's another very small... Um, uh, text on fake disc is black and there is no circle. Fake has TM after verbatim. Um, verbatim trademark. And again, I'm going to suggest that, that can be explained by the fact that verbatim was bought out uh, in 2020 and that afterwards uh, CMC is the company and they're using the verbatim, which would explain the trademark uh, marking after a certain point. Uh, real fake, again, holes, four circles on the spine of the jewel case, etc., etc. You get the picture. Fake packaging has a slightly purple U, only noticeable one next to a real pack. Um, okay. Again, I would suggest that these are pretty, these could be just explained by they use a slightly different color of blue in, the, in a redesign of the box after a certain time. Um, now, the person said, so they, he or she asked verbatim, and verbatim actually gave a response that is kind of lost in this wall of text that I think. To my surprise, after a debate with customer service, they told me that these are not fakes and that these are the only M-Discs that are going to be sold from now on. So I'm guessing what they were saying is, well, the, ver the Millenniata ones aren't still on the market. Uh, what's insane is that these discs, I'm quoting the poster here, what's insane is that these discs, di discs currently being sold, excuse that slip, uh, are not M discs at all, but regular organic layer verbatim BDRs, yet verbatim still call these M discs. When I tried calling them out on their lies by pointing out things such as the disc MID um, being the same as that of regular BDRs and the discs having 6x burn speed, they just chucked it up to the discs being completely reworked and we moved to production facility, hence the different disc IDs. Um, and again, I point, I, I suggest that this is not really something that's incredible. That's, this isn't the smoking gun evidence that M discs are fake that the poster seems to think. Um, for the simple reason that CMC, in, which is in Taiwan, bought uh, verbatim in 2020. So I don't think it's so crazy to think that um, A, the Millenniata verbatim uh, MID would explain one 
uh, reason that the, the MID might have shifted. Another one could be that CMC started making these in their own factory in Taiwan, and previously they were made elsewhere. Uh, the Blu-ray M discs, um, you know, um, and then the argument. So then there's an argument that they must be fake because uh, they can be written from on regular Blu-rays, not M discs uh, specific. So the poster says. The most ridiculous part is that these new M discs, as verbatim support calls them, are writable on any standard Blu-ray drive. You don't even need a drive that supports M disc burning. For those unaware, M discs require an M disc capable drive to be burned because M disc needs a stronger laser than what is used for regular Blu-rays. I'm not sure that that is actually correct or what was ever correct for DVDs. Yes, um, for Blu-rays, I'm not sure they ever required a different laser. If if you heard otherwise, let me know in the comments. The stronger laser is only an M-disc drive. There's no way you could ever write a real M-disc and a non-M-disc drive. You had to be customized, so etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, but here's the thing: Millenniata says have always said that most Blu-rays can write these M-discs. This is a press release from Leniata in 2014 about the launch of the Blu-ray M-Disc. And it says here, with the recent Blu-ray Association approval, uh, which is uh, an industry body setting standards for the Blu-ray specification, the M-Disc Blu-ray works in most standard Blu-ray drives and is being shipped to customers. So it says right there that they don't, most, mostly you don't need a special M-Disc burner. And that was back in 2014. Um, verbatim have a long list of compatible uh, M-Disc compatible burners not all of which make any mention on their product of being M-Disc compatible it should be noted and it says again on their website they do say for DVDs uh, that um, it seems more like when the M this is under their compatibility page that when they said a disc was compatible it was, uh, it was more like uh, they verified that um, but it does say clearly again here that under Blu-rays that the Blu-ray is based on the same 1000 year standard for longevity and is certified by the Blu-ray Association to meet all current standard disc specs. Um, again, I think it was 20, manufactured after 2011, I heard somewhere, it was when they were all okay. So then the poster concludes with these arguments. Quick check. A real M-disc has a copper gold tint on the back. The new fake ones, fake ones are silver. Um... I, I didn't find any source to support that. Uh, what I understand is unique about the M disc is that the recording layer is inorganic. That's not to say that the layer, the bottom layer of the physical media, might not change, especially when the manufacturing technology switched between uh, three different companies. Potentially, we had Millenniata, then Verbatim, and then Verbatim under CMC. Um, as Verbatim said, MIDs and part numbers can change and. Finally, that the real M disc only burns in a drive with M disc support. Um, this indeed was never the case. Uh, someone told me that on Reddit, and I, I was a little bit skeptical myself. But I looked it, I looked it up, and uh, that is indeed the case. So I don't think I, I don't think there's any smoking guns here. Um, I don't. I personally don't believe there's any reason to think that the market's been flooded with fake M discs. Um, I would take uh, I would take M disc at the word, and I would take millennia, uh, Millenniata at the word. Uh, perhaps you might think I'm uh, gullible, um, but I don't see anything here that really doesn't make sense. To me, it actually all kinds of make all kind of makes sense. Makes sense that when uh, Verbatim picked up this tech, uh, they might have changed the. They are now the manufacturer, so it makes sense that they would put themselves as the manufacturer ID. It makes sense that the discs might change a little bit as they um, brought it onto their own production lines. And again, I don't see any anything here that that um, seems to have convinced everyone that they're fake that really makes a lot of sense to me. This has uh, been the, uh, the video uh, about the Reddit uh, MDisc controversy. Um, if you have thoughts on the controversy, whether you are um, whether you think it's all a scam where th that verbatim are tricking us all uh, or otherwise, uh, leave your comments in the, leave your comments in the comments box. Just be respectful. I feel like people can, are getting a bit uh, worked up about this, uh, about this topic. Uh, thanks for watching this video until the next time.